right, guys, we finally made it out here to Elmer's Island. I stopped in a little inshore spot and caught probably eight or ten uh, little small specks, you know, 10 to, 10 to 12 inches or so, and then decided to come on out to the surf for a little bit. So I got a one ounce weight on a pompano rig with fish bites right now. And that's what you see me holding here. But I'm also going to be throwing this little swim bait around right here. And we're going to see if we get anything coming in on an incoming tide. So wish me luck. You know, with, uh, with all the shark attacks and stuff lately, man, I'm just not anxious to get into the water. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. There's been four people been attacked in the last couple of weeks. Um, little girl lost her left arm and her right leg so yeah I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna be getting in the water today I like my limbs attached I am seeing fish out there I am seeing fish right where the it's breaking there but it's really shallow only about five or six inches so we'll see what happens got something here I don't know what it is running along the beach it's a nice size whatever it is it's pulling drag on me I can see him right there in the breakers but I can't tell what kind of fish it is what do we got big huge big huge whiting I have never seen a whiting that big look at that he's gone in the chest Ooh, it's getting me full of full of sand here. Oh, let me pause the camera. I'm worried about getting pictures instead of getting this thing off. Well, before I could even tighten my line, I had something else on here. What is this? Oh, it's a damn hard head. Definitely don't want that, guys. Oh, thank God he got off. All right, good. <laughs> I don't like messing with no hard heads. In fact, let me use my pliers and get him back in the water because, uh, yeah, they hurt. Let me grab him by the dorsal fin here. Here we go. All right. Back out we go. Well, it looks like the the pompano rig with the, with the fish bites on it is is getting it. All right, I saw some minnows jumping right there. All right, I stopped it. Right about where I saw the minnows, or whatever that was jumping. So we're gonna see. Well, fish bite seems to be the way to go today. Catching all the big whitings and stuff. And a bunch of hard heads. That's another big whiting. That's all right, man, I'll take these all day long. Need some good eating fish. Sorry, it's hard to pay attention to what I'm doing and look at camera angles at the same time. Alright, let's get him off. There we go. Yeah, I'll take these fish all day long, honestly. They're not hitting slow, so I'm just, I'm kind of tossing it right before the breakers. And maybe, maybe 30 yards. And just kind of letting it sit for a, a few seconds, honestly. And they've been hitting it left and right.
got this incoming tide here, which is good. It's not a very big tide. It's only like half a foot, but you know, that was a bad cast, so I'm going to throw out again. But they are biting, and I'll take all the whiteies all day. All right, right about there. All right, let's see what happens. I had a pretty significant bite here. It's pulling me down the beach. Yep, there he is in the surf. Another whiting. That's what it feels like. Yep, another big whiting. All day. That's some nice fish here. Grab him. I'll show you guys. There you go. Very nice. He's going in the cooler. That's four. So time to put some new bait on. I'm missing, missing my bait. Four really big whitings, man. That's some. That's some nice fish there. So just to show you guys how I'm doing this, I bought these um, easy, easy crab, flesh colored fish bites. And before I left, rather last night I should say, I cut them into like little half inch strips like this. And then all I do is I take them with my uh, pompano rig on these little circle hooks. And I showed y'all how I make these in a previous video. And I kind of hook them not quite in the middle, but more towards one end. So it kind of flaps off the side. And I hook them just like that. And that's how I'm catching these fish. Get this other one on here. All right. And that's it. I got a one ounce uh, sand spike weight. Some people fish with two and four ounces. I think one for this is about perfect. And like I said, I'm not I'm not really chucking it. That was a bad throw. But I'm not really chucking it like hard. You know, I'm just kind of flinging it over my shoulder. Which, to be frank, it's it's really tiring on my right hand. But um, I'm getting enough of a break in between that I'm kind of able to to relax my right hand a little bit. So but that's all I'm doing. And then I reel it down until it's tight. So it's like a tight line, like for catfishing on the bottom almost. And then you wait for the bite. Now this is something nice, it's pulling drag. Here he comes, must be a huge whiting. You can't see him yet. Just an average size whiting going against the current. <laughs> I'm nailing these suckers. one and I'm catching these things left and right and they fight man this thing is pulling he's no match for the 10 pound braid but yeah oh that's a hard head no no big old hard head and another one doesn't feel like a hard head. I don't feel any head shakes or anything. But that's exactly what it is. Alright, 
If I catch another hardhead, we're going back inshore, try the popping corks on voodoo shrimp again. The, the trout might be small, but at least it ain't hardheads, you know? I'd rather catch small trout than just sit here and catch one hardhead catfish after another. I'm gonna bring this closer in. All right, let's see what happens. All right, this feels like another hard head. Feel the head shaking. Oh, dolphins out there. Nice. They're too far away to see on camera, I'm sure. Yeah, this is another hard head. So we're gonna go try some popping corks and um, see what we get on that because yeah, these uh, these hard heads are aggravating. And they're hard for me to get off the hook too because of my hand. And I definitely don't wanna grab this bastard because you talk about their spines hurt. Let's pack up. I didn't have the damn camera on, but he's undersized, but it's a speck. There you go. It's 13 to 20 inches right here. Well, anywhere in Louisiana, to be honest. That's a good sign. Let me get my camera adjusted here. So it looks like they're they're pretty close to the bank. I missed some small fish, um, four or five actually, that were really close. And right now that's kind of what I'm just doing. I'm throwing out and working it back this way because it seems once the court gets about 20 feet out, or something like that, they're reliably hitting it. There we go. There we go. Y'all saw that? The white trout. Damn, he got me. Got me in the thumb. Don't want those. Yeah, see that it's it's they're they're pretty close in. Don't know why, but I'm not complaining. I catch some decent specs here, man. That'd be that'd be great to take home to the wife. Still short though. Look at that. All right, calm down so I can get you off, bud. Didn't have my gloves on. Should have put those on while I was at the car. Yeah, he's still short, but they're fun to catch. I yanked him out of the water on mistake. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it, but. short of a cast, I think. Yeah, 
Something grab me right there. Try again. Yeah, so I just caught a couple white trout on the, um, off camera. <laughs> After I missed them about 30 times. little spit. <laughs> this is probably the smallest speckled trout I've ever caught. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That was a big hit. He came out for it twice. I think there's some grass right there. If I can see what my glass is, that's what it looks like maybe. I'm at a bad angle to see. It's another little small speck. No, that's a croaker. That's what it looks like. There's like a little patch of grass there. Um, I think that's what's what these fish are keyed in on right there. white trout. Alright, so I think I see that dark spot and I think that's a patch of grass underneath there right where that cork is. It's like just to this side of it. Should be right over it. Yep, there we go. Another white trout. Look at that. No, this is undersized specs. Is it a spec? 13 inches or better.
bunch of undersizers, but you know what? <laughs> it's still fun to catch. I am not complaining. Yeah, just got my rod wrapped. Catching some that are right on that borderline of 13, but if they're not obviously bigger, I'm not interested in keeping them, to be truthful. Minimum size trout. That was not a trout. I don't know what that was that hit it. I didn't get it on camera, but he's, I set the hook and he stopped me dead. Catching all the 12 inches. missed one. There he goes, I got him. That is a white trout. White trout if you want him. Alright guys, this is the last stop I'm making right here. I'm actually on the way out from Elmer's Island. So, I'm not expecting to catch anything right here to be honest. Um, just wanted to stop and make an outro so normally I don't fish on Fridays so y'all got to see me do a rare Friday fishing caught a bunch of nice whitings a bunch of undersized trout it was a fun trip overall but I do want to be back home for about one o'clock so I can get everything all picked up and cleaned up and then uh, relax before I gotta work this weekend because I got up at 3 30 to head down here today 3.30 in the morning, so I've already been awake for about eight hours, so yeah, it's going to be one of those early nights for me, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I enjoyed making it, sorry for the loud traffic right behind me, but you don't really have a choice, so anyway, as I was saying, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I enjoyed making it, it's nice to get out here, it's blazing hot though, so I'm going to make a cast off these little shells and then call it a day. Tight lines, my friends. <laughs>